Hey, this is Malcolm341. In this video, we're going to look at a script I created that makes graphing materials in the Hypershade much easier. Working with multiple materials can get messy and confusing in Maya, and this script can save you time, so let's check it out. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit painful because we've got to look at the Hypershade and the Maya viewport at the same time in a single monitor. So it's going to get really crunched and really ugly to look at this stuff. So Let's see if we can kind of fit it in here somewhere. And as I move this around to prevent it from like going all transparent like that and trying to accidentally snap in somewhere that I don't want it to go and mess up my current interface, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click the lock button on the interface, which is a new, newer feature, which is super handy. So once I've clicked that lock button, I can't accidentally like stick this window into like another part of the window and it also makes the windows run a lot smoother they don't kind of stutter and like lose frame rate and stuff as you drag them around okay and we've got super limited uh, screen space going on here so i'm actually just going to temporarily close this the property editor since i won't need it for the tutorial and i'm also going to close this guy here the create panel because i also don't need it for the tutorial so this Hypershade might look a little bit different than how yours looks, but if you want to get those windows back, you just come up to Window here, and then you can turn stuff back on. So that's that was the property editor there, and you stick it in the side there, whatever, drop it in there to get it back, click on something to fill it up. And the other one that I turned off was the Create window. So that's that thing. Well, that launched way over to the second monitor, and I think it was stuck right there. So just a little tip, yeah, if you ever lose any part of your uh, Hypershade, you can always go into Window and you can just get all that stuff right back there. So if you're not familiar with the Hypershade, basically uh, what it does is it allows you to see all of the materials in your scene up here and it um, textures and all types of other stuff. And it allows you to assign those materials, delete them, modify them, whatever, to objects in the scene. And that is done in this section down here. There's a lot of cool stuff in the Hypershade that I don't really use that often, but tons of things in here. Uh, we don't really need to go over them in this tutorial. Basically, the main two buttons that I use in the Hypershade consistently are this guy here, which is graph materials on selected objects, and this guy here, which is show input and output connections of selected material. So I'm just going to click the clear graph button because this is what you'd see if you came into the uh, Hypershade fresh from a brand new scene. And so what the main point of the tool is, is basically you'll be in your 3D scene over here and you need to find that material. And if it's not named something that's memorable, like none of mine are named, or if you have a million materials in here, like if you open like an actual level or something, there'll be like hundreds or thousands of materials in there. Basically what you can do is you can come over here and you can select your object and then you can click this guy, which is the graph material. And you click that button. And it shows you, oh, okay, great, there's my material, and now I can do stuff with it. So I'm just going to make a sphere here. So let's say I've got this object here. I'm just going to duplicate a couple of these guys by holding shift and dragging. So now that I've got my sphere here, basically I can come to this guy, I can click the graph. Okay, that's its material. Then I can select the sphere, and then I can right-click over here, and I can say assign material. And then you can assign the material. And then, of course, you can press G to repeat last command if you wanted to assign the same material over and over again until something else gets in the command queue. And then the other buttons that I use are these three guys here, basically. So what those do is they show you the up and downstream connections of whatever is plugged into the material. And we can't actually see that here. If I click it here, kind of nothing happens. I need to actually plug something in. So I'm just going to open up the attribute editor quickly for that guy. And in the color, instead of just having a constant color, I'm going to go over here and then I'll just throw a checkerboard in just for fun, basically just for the demonstration. So color is gone, but we've got a checker applied. And then you can see here everything downstream and upstream from this guy here. So basically, if you click this and you click that one, it just shows you what's, what is this, upstream? Uh, oh, sorry, it's called output. It shows you the outputs. And if you click this guy, it shows you the inputs. And if you click this guy, it shows you the whole kind of connection stuff. So that can be useful because sometimes you'll graph material and it, you won't be able to find the texture and you'll have to either click that or click this. So now the sucky part of this whole tool of the whole Hypershade is that when you have an asset with more than one material on it, especially like more than five or nine, or sometimes it's a big level, you might have like 30 or 100 on like stuff that's combined, a bunch of buildings or something like that. What's going to happen when you come in and graph something, it works fine. So I'm going to click this button and you get, oh, great, there's my material. 
and I'm going to select this green thing and I'm going to graph it and be like, oh, okay, great. There's my material there. But watch when I select this weird, funky monument thing that I made. It's got like one, two, three, four, five, six. It's got like six different materials on it. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to click graph because I want to work on, I don't know, maybe like the red material or something. So I click the graph button. And look at this. This is terrible. I can't even see what I'm looking at right now. And that's because in Maya, when you click the graph button, it doesn't know to graph like what material you see. It graphs everything. So if we zoom in here, you can see basically we've got like there's the red one and there's the yellow and there's the blue and there's the gray and the gray and the gray and the gray and the gray. And besides being kind of like organized poorly, so I'd have to zoom into each one or whatever, I don't want to work on any of these. I wanted to just like, can you like, just give me the red one. So you might think, oh, of course, like all I need to do is come in here and just, I don't know, select a face of the red one and click the graph, right? Wrong. It does exactly the same thing. There is no way that I know of anyways, no like simple way to find the material visually and then just like start working on it here like there's ways you can do it in the attribute editor you can go and like browse it that way and or you could name it or whatever but that's all like a lot of work i don't want to do any of that crap that's too slow and tedious and, and way too many cl clicks basically what i want is i just want to work on the red material so why can't i just select the red material show me the red material damn you and the other thing that can be annoying is that this gets really messy really fast. Like, let's like say that gets on top of that or whatever. Or I select this guy and this guy and this guy and this guy and whatever. I select it all and uh, I graph it all. And it's already like pretty hard to look at. But before long, you're going to start to see all these things kind of overlap and stuff. And it's just going to get really gross. And you're going to have to like go and clean it and redo it and just do all these button clicks and uh, nothing that I want to do. So I wanted to make a script that can graph me just the red or just the whatever in one click. And I also wanted it to clean up all this other junk at the same time. So just show me what I'm interested in and only show me what I have selected. So let's check that out right now. So basically you want the red. So we've got a new button in the shelf here. It's called graph. It's got this little icon. So you want the red and you've got a big mess of whatever here. I'm like staring at the yellow and a bunch of random junk there. Go into face mode, select a single face of the material that you want to see and then click this graph button and boom you get just the red and you don't get like all the other kind of wasted stuff that you don't really care about you just get what's connected to the red and then immediately you can start working on it no like screwing around there you go make some edits whatever make it brighter and then what's super cool about that is that oh well i want like the blue okay sure select the blue and just go graph and boom now you're working on the blue but okay i want the blue and the red. Okay, sure. No problem. I got you covered. Select the blue and the red and click the graph button and boom, blue and red. Well, no, I want the blue, the red and the checkerboard. Okay, sure. Whatever. So go in, select both these guys and then go into face mode on both of these objects. So red, blue, checkerboard, and then do the graph. Boom. And you get all three. And it shows you the texture connection, which is super helpful because everyone's going to be working with textures. So, yeah, kind of just do whatever you want. Oh, I just want like this one, whatever this gray thing is. No problem. You can graph this stuff all day. Boom. There you go. Start working. No time wasted. And what's also nice, like I mentioned, like this thing will get real messy, like super fast. So here, I'm just going to select all those guys and use the ghetto Maya graph. And it's going to make this horrible mess of all this stuff. But... With my tool, if you graph a single face or multiple faces or whatever, when you use uh, this graph, it's going to clean up whatever's in here and just focus the frame. So we're not going to get this like zoomed out view. You click this, it's going to go boom. It's going to get rid of all that other junk. But then if you want to add something to it, you go yellow plus red and click again. See, it cleans up all the other crap. It doesn't leave any random stuff behind. So you're just left with what you want to work on in that point in time, which is super handy. And then as an added bonus, randomly, uh, this is kind of an accidental feature, but whatever, it's cool. If you have the hypershade not open and you click the tool, it will actually open the hypershade for you. And then if you click it again, it'll do the graph. So you can use this as a double for a, like a hotkey for getting the hypershade open. And then again, once you're in it, you can just graph whatever you want in a single click. So super powerful.
If you've already purchased the full script pack or the modeling pack, this will be a free update. So you just need to download the same file again to get the new stuff. If you haven't purchased the script yet, you can grab the script by itself in the modeling pack, or you can get it in the full script pack. So take your pick. Thanks for watching, everybody. Without viewers like you, this channel would not be possible. If you like this video, please purchase something from the online store. Each purchase goes towards creating more video content and keeps the channel ad-free. See you next time. Have an outstanding day.